community is a composite of all its different elements. It's churches, families, service providers, schools, every institution that serves individuals that inhabit a community serve as the basis of the community. Communities are a place where people live every day, where they can really grow children, where kids can have positive outcomes. You know, a community is a collection of people who rally around a particular need or cause or common goal. Community can be as small as a neighborhood street. It could be as large as a state or a nation. To me, a community is partnerships, bridging gaps, having a voice. You have to have a collective uh, effort amongst all the different parts of the community uh, in order to be successful, in order, in order for the people in that community to be successful. Our communities are very important to us because we realize that children come from communities. We have a wonderful task. We are handling the goal of our future. We are handling the precious gems of our future. We want you to see the benefits of working with local communities in the state of Tennessee. And this is a new practice for DCS. This new practice is to do community engaging and collaboration to integrate the community into our everyday work. When communities become involved in a problem, the results are dynamically different than when they are isolated. When I think about the things that helped me out, I, you know, I grew up right next to a young person. My best friend when I was growing up uh, is in jail right now. And the only thing that separates us, the two of us, is that I had more people who had invested in me, uh, who had invested time, who had invested energy, who had held me to a higher expectation. That's the only reason why I, I believe that I was successful. I am a believer and a proponent of community engagement. And I know how critical it is when you really do know the community. If you don't understand the issues that people in the community face, it's no way you'll be able to, to help affect them and to make you know, any type of positive change. If they don't understand where that child is coming from, they will not be able to appropriately engage them, handle them, be sensitive to their concerns, being able to hear them. And I think we have to recognize that the, the diversity of our communities are what make us strong. Uh, they are not weaknesses, but they are certainly strengths, and we have to build on those strengths. From Johnson City to Memphis, we have all kinds of communities. We have some rural, we have some that are urban. When you're dealing with a rural community, these are people who are proud of what they've accomplished. Uh, they're proud of how they've been raised. They're proud of their families. The rural community doesn't want you to come in and turn them into a metropolitan model. Uh, they want you to address them where they are. And if you don't understand that, uh, then you're fighting an uphill battle uh, to begin with. The community is very vital to our outcomes. We need to find out what communities are really struggling with. Some of the problems that my community is facing is gang violence, teen pregnancy. Every community has its challenges. Uh, certainly high school dropout rates are way too high. Uh, school improvement, education improvement, children and family services. The issues that affect the black community are very much different from the issues that affect the Hispanic community, uh, and if the, that affects the, the Kurdish community. I think that when we are doing our community engagement, we need to present a real face that DCS cannot do our work singly. We need to have our community partners with us at every level. Everybody's got to cooperate. One person can't do it alone. I can't do it. The department cannot do it. The agencies cannot do it. People coming together and collectively working on issues, it's just so much more uh, power when, when, when people and communities are able to come together. Especially in the Latino community where a high percentage do not speak the language and are afraid to reach out to the community. And that's where the role I hope to play is to bridge that, to be the liaison between 
the juvenile system, school system, health system, foster care system, and to help bridge that gap. You cannot just depend on one facet of the community to, to make a way and to, or to blaze the trail for every kid. It takes a collective approach. It's a marriage of all the different agencies and personnel that are involved in this community partnership. As Benjamin Franklin said, information is the currency of a democracy. So you have to provide information to people uh, so they can make informed choices for themselves, makes them better citizens, but for the children. And that's really key. You have to go and explore where the kids are coming from. Find out what their issues are. Find out who the local judge is. Who are your local principals and your school superintendents and your health care agencies? Every community has a gatekeeper. There's somebody who knows everybody in that community. And it would be wise to find out who your gatekeepers are. Do not be afraid to go out and be part of that community. You can't just clock in and clock out with this type of work. You really have to be invested in people. Young people especially know the difference between someone who is committed to their improvement, to their success, and someone who's just doing this for a job. Yeah, in the near future, I'd love to see the barriers broken down uh, between departments of state so that they are interacting and working together. Uh, so you don't have this, uh, that's not my job, that's not my responsibility, where we just kind of blend these services together and that we eradicate some of these problems that we seem to have over and over and over again, and that Tennessee becomes the model. People want to do well. People want to succeed. People want to be successful and, and be positive. Every community has a foundation of hope that every community can make it if you support them. We should never write a community off. Y si nosotros podemos hoy pensar en el mañana para nuestros niños, el futuro será brillosante, brilla en el sol. A lot of times you can't see the the full structure of what you're building. You may not see the change today. You may not see the change tomorrow. But you have to understand that the work that we're doing, this is some of the hardest work going on anywhere, but it's very much needed and, and it's, gonna, it's gonna make a change. Let people know that DCS is real, that we are serious about changing our practices. We want to hear from our community.